Hi, Nova Nation. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the Wildcat Rewind, our breakdown of plays from the 2019-20 season. I'm Nick Montagna. Thanks for joining us. Today we're chatting with Villanova Volleyball and a big play in the win versus St. John's on Senior Day. What a win it was. Remy Fairchild, the senior from South Lake, Texas, joining us. Mallory Potts down in San Antonio with us. And Sarah Allman, the defender from Southern California. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. All right. The team went 22-9 and nine this year. You had a great season, 13-5 and five in the Big East and for third place and your third Big East tournament in a row. Remy, the squad had such a great season. How much fun was it? Oh, it was so fun. I mean, it was my senior season, knowing the last time I would ever play volleyball, basically. So I think whenever you know something is the last time, you try to make it special and you try to make the most out of it. So we did. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. In a second, we're going to break down one of the biggest plays we've seen in recent memory of Villanova volleyball. It was so much fun to watch. I'm sure it was fun for you guys. Mallory, you had a great season, 275 kills to lead the team, but it was a really balanced effort. What, what made it such a potent attack from all angles this past year? Yeah, we definitely had a balanced off offensive um, team. Like That was one of our strengths as a 2019 team. Um, I think it's really beneficial because like the opponents couldn't just cheat towards one person like they didn't know where the where Emma was going to set it you know we had we had a rotation of outsides Remy and Claire and I and then we had Allie and, Ma and um, Maya and Sophia in the middle and Kath and Sana on the right side so like we were lethal in all positions yeah. um, and I think that's something that we can expect from our 2020 team also. Like most of us are returners and we have a really good um, incoming freshman class. So we'll be balanced offensively and that's going to be one of our strengths. Yeah, absolutely. Sarah, you had 25 aces. The defense was solid again with you, Reagan Lowe, and the rest of the gang. What did you think of the team defense from this past season? I mean, this team has always been pretty scrappy ever since I was a freshman, and I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of teams in our conference get kind of nervous to play us. But this year we had a lot of depth both like on the court and on the bench, so it was always kind of nice knowing like whoever Josh decided to put out there, we were going to have a really sol solid lineup no matter what, which is nice. Yeah, and I think the defense really improved as the season went on as well. It was such a good team to watch. Let's look at the big play. It was so special. Senior day, St. John's had a great season. They went on to win the Big East title. Five sets, 3-2 to win for you guys. And here in the fifth set, a long rally. I can't remember seeing anything so exciting in recent years. Remy, let's start with, the, with you. It was a great dig you had. How did you pull that off as the ball was bouncing around like that? You had to serve initially, but on that back row, how did you pull that out? It was really incredible to watch. Right. Well, during long rallies like this, I, I kind of just black out, honestly, <laughs> and just kind of let my instincts and kind of like the muscle memory just take over. And I, I never really noticed what is happening because everything is happening so fast that I can't really process it all until it's over. So I'll just flop my body on the ground for any ball and don't really realize it until it's over. <laughs> Mallory, your dig was really crazy. You were playing Twister out there. I think you hit it with your, your foot, your head, uh, your body. It, just, it was all over the place. You might have got kicked in the head by Craig and Lowe. How did you make that play happen? You know, I just can't help but laugh. Like, that ball was coming so fast. All I had time to do was, like, put my hands up, try not to get a broken nose, and hope that that ball came up high enough for someone to – play you know and luckily Sophia has some soccer skills that we didn't know about and kicked it um and then Reagan came flying over me and all I see is just Reagan just on top of me and anyone that knows me knows that I'm not graceful I fall all the time I never learned how to like dive or roll correctly and so I armadillo I literally get in a ball try and get out of everyone's way and that's what I did I just rolled back into a ball and just prayed I, I literally in my head I was like dang it Mallory like you ruined this play like this is a big one for us like and then all of a sudden Reagan goes get up get up and that's <laughs> new I was like oh man like we we got it up somehow like I didn't even know the play was still going on I didn't know Sophie had kicked it till later 
So then I just like scramble up. <laughs> we ended up winning it, and that was one of the best plays. Like I'm so happy to be a part of that. That was so much fun to be a part of. Uh, Sarah, you had that wonderful pancake pass to Remy Fairchild on the back row. It was really well timed. What was going through your mind there as you were diving for that ball, and you really did everything correct there? It must have been really neat to be a part of that. Um, I mean, at that point, we'd blocked this girl, I think, like five times. So anything she was going to get over the net would be off the hands or through the block. So I just had to know, like, I just knew, like, whatever was going to come to me, I just had to be ready to move for. So at that point, like, a pancake's really, like, the last resort move. So, I mean, I was lucky enough to get a couple fingers under there for Emma to get a touch and, I mean, I mean Remy to save the play. So, I mean, I'm glad it worked out, but it was definitely a panic move, to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, as we see Remy Fairchild diving from your pass. Uh, Sarah, you were set up behind where St. John's was setting up their attack. So let's go into that a little bit deeper. Emma Decker, the setter, and Sophia Howling, the middle, they were blocking like crazy all year long. They kept blocking on the St. John's player there on the right pin, and you were behind them. Talk about what head coach Josh Steinbeck wants with your defense where it's set up behind the block. So we do have different defenses. Um, I know for St. John's, they have really powerful outsides. So um, I think we had a pretty solid block, obviously, during this game. So at this point, our coach is basically like, just be ready to chase down anything. But I was pretty deep on the line, actually, for my base, ready to get any hard-driven balls. So I think that was definitely one of the reasons why I had to, you know, dive and put out my um, hand for that ball. But at the end of the day, I think that our defense did a really good job at adjusting to the changes Josh made for this team. And that's one of the reasons why we were definitely successful during this game. Yeah. Uh, Remy, you played the back row a lot throughout your career, do a little bit of everything. How gratifying was it to get a win like this on senior day and be a part of a point like this and just go out on top? It must have felt really special, huh? Yeah, it was everything. and. I mean, it was senior night, and to be able to get that win was kind of bittersweet because I had my whole family come travel to watch this game. Um, and at the same time, I knew this was going to be one of the last times I put on a Villanova jersey, um, one of the last times I would play with my teammates in Jake Nevin Fieldhouse. So it was absolutely everything to play for the last time in my home gym with my family watching, with my best friends and teammates against a really great team and pull out a win. So it was really special. Uh, Mallory, how tired were you guys at the end of that point? Sophia Howling had the block with Emma Decker finally at the end. Were you guys gassed? It was five sets, long season. What were you guys feeling physically or mentally at that point? I'm not going to lie. I, if you go past this uh, point, I think I – I go down to my knees in the huddle, like I was really out of breath. <laughs> but um, it's in times like this, fifth set, like game on the line, that you don't even feel it. Like, yeah, I was tired, but like I could go so much longer, you know? Like these are the games that you like play for. Yeah, so. us, us announcers are babies. We're sitting down the whole time drinking water, watching you guys play while you hustle all over the place, especially the five setters. You guys talked a little bit how it should be balanced for 2020. Sarah, what do you think the team will look like this fall? I mean, it'll definitely be interesting. We're losing a lot of our starting lineup because the seniors were such a big presence on our team this year. But I know we have really good recruits coming in. So I think it'll be exciting for sure, but definitely a transition for us. Um, I know we have some really solid um, hitters coming in. And also our defense, we have, I think, three more people coming in. So I think we'll have a lot of depth, which is going to be good for our team. Remy, how nice was it to graduate? I know the spring was tough for everybody. At least you guys got to have your season in the fall. How special is the walk away from Villanova with a degree? It's hard, but it's it's really special. I mean, it's not the ending we all hoped for, but we still have the degree in hand. We have all the memories. I'm thankful that our season wasn't impacted. I know there's a lot of spring sports who their final season was canceled, and so I feel for them, and I'm just grateful. Yeah. And finally, Mallory, it should be a, a great fall. Hopefully we all get back to normal in just a few weeks from now. I feel like things are starting to change. It really should be an exciting fall, shouldn't it? It should. It'll be interesting how it all plays out with the COVID-19, but I'm very excited for the season. I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah, yeah.
I totally agree with that. So a great look and a great play in the win over St. John's from this past season. A 3-2 win and a successful rally. Winded but happy, I guess, was the sentiment when it was all said and done. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, of course. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much. That's Mallory Potts, Sarah Allman, and Remy Fairchild for the Wildcat Rewind. Talking with Villanova Volleyball, I'm Nick Montagna. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next time.